Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yours truly, Dave. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my podcast. Hope you enjoyed this lovely podcast. I'm just going to say uh, for the record, for the record, as they like to say, I'm here for the duration of this podcast, no matter how long it is. I'm here for duration. I want you guys to realize that here I'm not, I'm not the third person. I'm not a guy who gives some directions and stuff like that. I'm not here to do that or the third person. I want to get that out of the way. Um, I'm here to talk about a certain situation here we got in the world today. Schools to start about three weeks. They're asking the Prime Minister of Canada, that's Prime Minister of Canada, not the United States, Prime Minister of Canada, it's Doug Ford, for you Canadian people out there. Uh, you got Doug Ford, you got Justin Trudeau, who's a liberal. He's from you so-called Liberal Party. Um, he's from the uh, Ottawa branch. Um, and Justin Trudeau, he speaks English and French. So if you want him, if you, you know, if, if, if it need be, he can, he can say it in French or English. Just the translations. Um, what else do you need to know? Oh, uh, Doug Ford. Doug Ford, you got, he's the premier of Ontario. He does the Ontario area. But Justin Trudeau, he does all of a Canada. He's, that's why he's liberal. He does all of Canada. All the way from Yukon, all the way to Montreal. Um, so he speaks of the Canadians too as well. Not just one province. He speaks of all provinces. Um... And you can ask him anything. You can ask him anything, but he doesn't. Uh, one thing I see out of him, he does. He didn't get his haircut done yet. His hair is worse than ever. Um, he didn't shave. Uh, Justin Trudeau. Can you believe this? This guy, Justin Trudeau, he doesn't shave. He still doesn't look good on camera. Um, I don't want to boast myself here, but he doesn't look good. All appearances look good. You gotta look good on on TV. Um, I don't know why people uh, don't even ask him that question, but uh, uh, but there you go, folks. So, Justin Trudeau, he's the Liberal Party. Uh, by the way, if you're in the United States, you got the Democrats, you got the uh, uh, opposition people, but here in Canada, you got the Liberals, you got a Conservative Party, yes, the Conservative Party, the NDP Party, and most importantly, the Green Party. You know what the Green Party stands for. Um, He's got, they got one seat in the uh, Green Party. Uh, NDP, I forget what, they're stand, what they stand for. Uh, but uh, Conservative Party, he's the, uh, the Conservative Party is kind of like the opposite of the Liberal Party. <laughs> so, uh, they're, uh, virtually the Conservative par- people are fighting with the Liberal Party. Uh, so they're kind of asking questions back and forth and, and to the, to the uh, House Speaker and saying, House Speaker, uh, we have something, you know, so and so forth. Um, so the House Speaker is speaking to them. So it's backbenchers kind of thing. Um, and that's what all they do. And uh, you probably you know these people by name by now if, you're, if you live down here in Canada. Uh, and they, they have a role to play. I keep telling these people they have a role to play they got in for certain reasons and sometimes they'll do the shuffle cabinet shuffles uh, around their minister they call themselves the ministers um and most importantly most importantly it got shuffled around recently due to the minister of finance now you don't know who minister of finance is i'll tell you about it uh this guy who bounces books uh to see if the you know, like it's like you do it in your own house. You bounce your own books. This is the guy who bounces his own books in the Ottawa. I don't know what he what's his job to do that, but okay. Uh, he got he got um, not really kicked out of the office. I mean, not kicked out. You know, uh, kicked out of. He just resigned. As the question would say, he resigned. He gave his papers. Told Justin Trudeau, "That's it. I'm gone. That's it." Uh, so, in the government, sometimes they like to work swiftly. I call it swiftly. Uh, so the other person leaves. The other person comes in. They get this lady who is a journalist, uh, and she got in there really fast, really fast. So it only takes, uh, it actually takes them two months to get somebody to uh, fit for the job, kind of thing, uh, in government. So anyway, that was very swiftly. I, I almost said to Justin Trudeau, that was very swiftly. Uh, but yeah, there you go, folks. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you about their names. Uh, you guys will have to figure out when you uh, come down here in Canada who got in, who got out. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, but that was very swiftly. If you ask me, that was very swiftly. Uh, 
So uh, the other person resigned. The other person came in and uh, did the oath, as they say, the oath. Uh, and they'll, hold, they'll uphold, as they say, the government. Uh, so they're minister of finance. This time it's a woman. Uh, I'm not being racist here, folks. Uh, it's a woman. So she's pretty good, as far as I heard about. Um, Justin Trudeau is really good. He's in good hands. Let's put it that way. He's in good hands. But government works uh, uh, swiftly. I call it swiftly. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Anyway, I, I, I'm here to speak for all Canadians, not the Americans, but all Canadians. I want to really delve down on that. Uh, other people are, who speak for the Americans, that's the, that's the people in government in Washington, D.C. or Capitol Hill. Those are the Americans. They speak of the Americans, like uh, United States Amer uh, citizens to your... Um, people around there but that's it that's it but here in since i'm living in canada so-called quotations canada um we get justin trudeau to thank for he's the prime minister of canada so he's kind of a liberal guy um and uh the premier the premier guy is doug ford he does at queen park he's the little guy uh and so there you go folks so let's talk about canada what we have that's more what's what's really important in Canada. Well, we got the beaver. People talk about the beaver here in Canada. And they also talk about the maple syrup. They don't talk about maple syrup so much in the United States. But here in Canada, we talk about Canadian maple syrup. Uh, the best there is around the world. And we get the money, the lowest dollar ever in Canadian money. American money, I could never understand American money. But Canadian money, I sure heck uh, understand Canadian money. Uh, but uh, just remember, they all talk about billions. They don't talk about trillions. They talk it in billions. Okay, that's uh, that's if you're a minister of some, you know, department. And uh, sometimes you get to ask these people the questions that you want to ask with the prime minister of Canada or the premier, uh, whatever questions they're going with. The premier seems to be a little bit... Uh, uh, he's. I get. To, I got. I got used to him for a while. I really did. I really tried my hardest to get used to him. So anyway, there you go, folks. One most important thing before I leave. Before I leave this uh, arena thing, uh, I just gotta say to you guys that uh, I'm having a great time here in Canada. The weather is great, uh, and it's just quite amazing. Quite amazing. So if you ever want to travel travel down here in Canada. Uh, the Prime Minister of Canada, remember, remember, you got to know, is Justin Trudeau at this very moment in 2020. Uh, he's the Prime Minister of Canada, all of Canada. Remember, he speaks for all Canadians, not just one province. And uh, you get to ask his questions, you get to ask his questions. He'll, he'll either say it in English or he'll say it in French versions. And uh, he knows those language, both languages easily. So if a person on a caller would say, can you uh, say it in French? Uh, uh, he can, he can, because he knows that language very well. Um, and just, uh, just if you were to ask him nicely, just if you asked to ask him nicely, you probably know the French language. Um, but I've seen him uh, do it in English and French. So the French language, if you know a little bit of French, Justin Trudeau knows that very easily. Um, and uh, he was, um, just recently, he was uh, caught uh, unaware because of the Wii scandal. Apparently, it was a government running thing kind of thing. And uh, he got caught. Uh, they were asking him a lot of questions about that situation. Uh, and they're about, about it, was just, it was weird. It was very much weird. Uh, I think the whole program, I think he tried to stop the programming. Uh, that's what he was saying out there to the public people. Uh, he was trying to stop the uh, uh, program as it, as it got even worse. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, um, but like I said, like I said, it was just a, uh, he just wanted to make sure his own words, he wanted to say if it was good enough to really get going this program st sort of thing. But anyway, there you go, folks. I'll see you guys later until next. Uh, ciao for now. And don't forget, don't forget, drink and drive. Don't ever drink and drive and don't text while you're driving. And uh, yes, and uh, here in Canada, I love it here in Canada. United States is just, they're just having trouble with their, uh, with their American people. Their, uh, the elections are coming up. Uh, people are burning down things in every uh, city. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I really see this on a nightly, daily basis. When there's ever a shooting, black person gets shot out. Um, 
they do a riot. They do a serious riot, and it's not friendly. It they riot like you wouldn't believe. Uh, uh, so yes, it's very scary, folks. It's very scary today. Uh, even on the station on C-SPAN, they do have callers in the morning called Wall Street Journal or this so-called Wall Street. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, uh, I wish you all the best out there for all of the Canadians and all the Americans. Uh, we wish you good luck. And uh, here in Canada, it's great. It's wonderful. Uh, I just wish you goodbye. Goodbye, A, the A thing. Um and in the United States, uh, they have, uh, uh, they have uh, you know, <laughs> Donald Trump. They have uh, Joe Biden to deal with. I was thinking today, uh, of all things today, I was thinking both of them, did they ever did anything when they were ever in office, like just before or uh, after elections? Did they ever do anything wonderful that would personify them to be the best uh, candidacy to this election? I'm just wondering here, folks. I'm just... I was trying to draw something here in my mind. And uh, uh, you got Joe Biden, Senator Joe Biden, as everybody would call him. Um, and uh, I'm very confused on him, very confused on Joe Biden. I, if, as I said in the past, he's 50-50 on me that he's going to win. And sure enough, he will win. And, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, they have a convention this week, by the way, if you're wondering, people. They're having conventions. Uh, Joe Biden had theirs last week. Now it's uh, the opposite the turn. Um, uh, one lady on Monday was uh, raising, uh, was really was shouting about it, about all the problems that are happening in the United States. I mean, it was no fix there. It was just sheer problems going on. And uh, yes, the conventions were pretty good, pretty good. Um, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next uh, uh, podcast. I'm going to leave you guys now. Ciao for now. That's what I say at the end of podcast. Ciao. Bye, everybody.